This video is on my master's degree from Georgia Tech in this many minutes. I spent about three years doing a master's degree part-time at Georgia Tech while I managed a team at Meta. It's really close to most data science programs out there. I'm gonna talk about three things. Should you even think about doing the program? A very fast view into each of the courses that I took. And then lastly, my background, so you have the context as to where this perspective is even coming from. So if that sounds good, let's get started. If you want to be an analytical data scientist, I highly recommend that you check out this degree. You get an incredibly cost competitive program, you get a great name brand, and then lastly, you get a lot of flexibility in terms of the types of courses that you have access to. So I started the program in fall of 2019. First course I took, Computing for Data Analytics. It is a hardcore bootcamp in Python, NumPy, and getting really, really good in doing computational analytics. Best parts of the course, the homeworks. You grind through notebooks and basically try to pass all these random test cases that are given to you. The low points of the course, so when you're getting to a point of grinding out the last points because you have some complex number errors that will drive you crazy if you're basically failing the entire homework because you can't figure that out. It actually trips up a lot of people who come into this program. Even though that sounds perhaps even masochistic, I think it's an excellent course to start with to even understand, do you want to do this program at all? The second course I took, Data and Visual Analytics. There are so many technologies that you touch in this course that you hit them at a surface level, it is nowhere near enough time to actually get mastery around these. The good part about that is that, you know, it's pretty close to real life. You really don't have a ton of time to get mastery in a particular package before you actually need to produce something with it. So that brought me to learning all these different new methodologies I brought into a work project down the line. The next course I took, Intro to Analytics Modeling. It's going to teach you how to do analysis in R. Better understanding how to do financial modeling is incredibly useful. Coming up on course number four, simulation. Sometimes you have problems which are not analytically tractable. In a lot of cases, it's just way easier to simulate the problem in general. It's thinking about the statistical properties and expectations which could tie into call centers, logistics and delivery. The professor is incredible in this class and raises it to A tier. Next up, Bayesian statistics. Literally the biggest letdown in the entire OMSA curriculum. Let me focus on the good parts first. Bayesian statistics is incredibly powerful to learn, for machine learning, for modeling. The problem is the professor literally just reads from the slides the entire time. Don't take the course at Georgia Tech. Here's what you should do instead. Start with this book. This will give you a basic rundown of doing Bayesian statistics in Python. And then you get the beast. Implementing this will probably teach you two to three X of what you could actually get in the Bayesian statistics course at Georgia Tech. You can tell I'm still a little bitter about this, right? All right, moving on. Next up, Management 6203. It gives you an under standing in business concepts with analytics? Waste of time. Next course, Computational Data Analytics, aka Machine Learning 1. This course, awesome. It is going to put you through the grinder of linear algebra, so I hope you did those prereqs. Coolest thing about this course, the project. My team and I decided to do a deep dive analysis and focus on some machine learning with McDonald's ice cream machines and basically try to figure out were operators within McDonald's causing breakdowns within the machines. There's a lawsuit about this. For my last semester, I did HDDA, deep learning, practicum, and some prerequisites for the OMSCS masters. Let's talk about these classes first. High dimensional data analytics, S tier course, brutally hard. Figure out how to take it because it is that good. There's a ton of tensor analysis and useful exercises, implementing algorithms. Very glad that I took it, but also traumatized. The last actual course that I'll talk about was deep learning. The exercises are incredibly well done and they get you in a rhythm of, here's five research papers, go ahead and implement them within this particular project, write a report on it, do some analysis on your learnings. Such a beautiful way to teach a course. So let me tell you about the practicum. I don't think anyone should come out of a degree like this without real world experience. Get out in the real world, implement this stuff, and you're gonna learn a lot from that. I use the opportunity to work in a local business and better understand how their web pages actually connect to portfolio performance. I had a ton of different Python packages, which I was really interested in getting experience in, like the SHAP package, and I picked a project where I would get more exposure to that tool in general. That's the degree in a nutshell. Please don't take Bayesian statistics at Georgia Tech. Hopefully you got a good sense of what I like from my curriculum and what I may have done differently in terms of choosing some classes. I've been an 
analytics for quite some time. I've been doing it 13, 14 years, something like that. And really, I just wanted to push myself and learn more. I can't recommend the program enough. The fact that you have a structured environment to get through this material yourself, you can take one course at a time, get through this program in about three years or so. It's a lot of time out of weekends. It's time out of your evenings. So there is a sacrifice. I think I'd do it again. I enjoyed my experience at Georgia Tech so much that I decided to double. I applied during my last semesters for the computer science masters and I made a decision to actually focus on that full time. Thanks for watching. I hope you check out some of the other videos that I have and maybe I'll see you soon.